believe it even after being really busy i was able to finish nine books last month and in this video i'm going to tell you about all those books that i read last month and what i think about them this is my mini reviews video so keep watching Hi there, I'm Manpreet. I make book related videos on this channel and in today's video, I'm bringing you my last month's wrap up, June wrap up. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. But before that, you have to make sure you are subscribed to me and your notifications are on. Otherwise, you maybe won't be seeing my next video because YouTube does that to you. So don't let it happen. Hit the bell button right now and follow me on my social media for all the awesome bookish updates. The first book that I read is The Room on the Roof by Ruskin Bond. I had started reading this book once but I was not able to finish it. So this time I started again right from the beginning because that's just what I do and I finished the book. I really liked the adolescent nature of the book and I do think I have put up the review on my blog so you can check it out for more details on this book or what I think about it but it's a novel which Ruskin Bond wrote when he was 17 about a guy who is 17 who is lonely and who decides to rebel against his foster guardian I meant guardian okay not foster parent that is what the book is about and I really liked it it's a very uh, sweet nice novel with a lot of uh, references to the nature and you know I kind of like the vibe of Ruskin Bond books because of that so that is book number one that I read the next book that I finished reading is Our Moon Has Blood Clots by Rahul Pandita now this book deserves a whole separate video because I have a lot to say about this book it's actually a memoir of this guy who is a Kashmiri Pandit and he tells you how Kashmiri Pandits were just uh, sent away from their native places because of the Muslims or because of the tension in the Kashmir area. He tries to give you a picture of everything that happened to his community and it is heartbreaking. It is really sad and it also gives you a different perspective to things because most of the times what we do is listen to the news or listen to the people around us and we make our perceptions. But reading this book really gave me a different perspective and made me more aware of what is going on in the society and how scary, sad and horrifying it is. But I do have a full review planned for this book so make sure you check it out because this is a book you should not miss. Next I finally finished reading Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Now it's a book on time management, it's a self-help book and it's actually really good. It's a short one which gives you practical advice on how you can manage your time. In every single chapter there is so much to take away. It's an amazing book. You should definitely read it. It's not like that usual self-help book which is long, long, long repeating the same concept over and over again. It's a great book. You should pick it up. Next, I read Punachi, The Story of a Goat. Now, this is a Tamil novel which has been translated to English and I absolutely loved this book. The whole vibe of the book is very nice and I actually, you know, felt really good reading about this animal and different things that happened to this animal. It's actually a very good read nice one to enjoy but at the same time it's more like an allegorical novel that is what i have heard i did not see uh, much of that in the book myself but yes if you are interested in something like that do check out my review of this book which is already live on this channel and then decide whether you want to read this book or not next book is again a self-help book that i read which is just shut up and do it by brian tracy it's more like how to not procrastinate or how to not make excuses and it's actually a very quick read and i really liked it again like eat that frog it's a very uh to the point book no long concepts no long lectures and i really like that about it so like if you're like i have read eat that frog by brian tracy and i love the author i need more books you can read just shut up and do it and you will really like it after this i also dnf one book which is the power of your subconscious mind by joseph murphy now it's considered one of the best books out there about self-help slash psychology and i really hated it i felt like this book was full of lectures and bad and i would not want to read this book again like i was really disappointed this is supposed to be one of the must read self-help books out there but the way everything has been described i feel like if you have to try to believe in something go and read the power and believe in the concept because the sub power of subconscious mind has the same concept in a very boring way i do not like it and i would not recommend it to anybody after dnfing this book i started reading 100 ways to motivate yourself by steve chandler and it's an amazing book 100 ways more than 100 ways actually if you think about it, 100 ways are too many to read in like one month and maybe even to remember. So there are some books in this list, in this whole wrap up that I want to reread and this is one of them. Out of 100, I feel like I have gotten two or three things which are amazing. These are short reads so 
it was totally worth my time and i would definitely recommend this book to you i would say that read like two or three ways at a time and then try to implement them and try to build on that but if you are like me you would first want to complete the whole book and then read it again you can also do that because it's amazing you should do how you want but you should read this book as well Next, I picked the Pokuri by Raskin Bond. Now, it's a collection of short stories. He presents a combination of horror, some nice reads, some like thrilling reads, and all that, but in a very, very light tone. I feel like that is the style of Raskin Bond, and I'm not yet sure that whether I like it or not. But I still like reading this book. There were so many short stories, even including his one very popular short story, Susanna and the Seven Husbands. I really liked all of the stories, so it was worth my time. I feel like it's a good read. If you're like it's raining, I need a book to read and with a cup of tea, pick it up. Next, I read Think Straight by Darius Foster. Now it's about how you can change your thinking to change your life. Honestly, this was a good book. Okay, I really liked reading it. The process was nice, but now, like even after twenty days or like I think ten days since I read this book, I remember nothing of this book. It did not make an impact on my mind. I feel like if a book doesn't do that, if a self help book is unable to do that, that book is not good enough. So it's a good read. Okay. But it's not something that will stick to you or make you feel like okay, I learned something great from it. So I have like mixed feelings about it. It's not like that impactful. So I'm like, why would anybody want to read it? But it's still a good read. <laughs> Next book that I read is How to Stop Procrastinating by Steve Scott. Now this is a book that I disliked. in all the self help books that i started reading and finished reading last month it's about how to stop procrastinating obviously but you know the whole concept it's like too repetitive it's about like it gives exercises it has like different chapters and all of that is too repetitive like a lot of people say that i do not like self help books because it's repeating the same thing over and over again and this is a great example of those kind of self help books which is why i would say never pick it up it's not something like it will make you procrastinate even more it's like that because it's such a boring book you will be procrastinating reading the book itself and then you'll be like oh, okay i'm done with it i'm happy And yes, this was the last book that I read last month. I am actually very happy with my reading. I read a lot of self-help books. I read uh, non-fiction as well and a little bit of fiction as well. So I really am happy with my wrap up. Let me know what are the books that you read last month and if you like them or not. And uh, yeah. let me know in the comments on below because i always look up to your suggestions your comments so that i can decide what i want to read yes guys that's it for today's video if you have somebody who likes these kind of books that i've read or included in this pile then make sure you share this video with that person it will maybe help that person out and also it will definitely help me out to grow my channel if you want to help me in that make sure you check again you are subscribed your notifications are on and you follow me on my social media and share this video this month we're signing off i'll be back with another video Bye soon